a pull pull on the rudder. And just of course the old standard torsion wire on the elevator, I mean on the ailerons. <coughs> and uh, the little floats out here on the ends, they're just foam covered with epoxy and paint. And it came out a little fat, weighed out about six and a half pounds. That's about it. I haven't flown yet. It's all ready to go. Got a bolt wash built into it so I can at least tell what the battery's doing without having to take the wing off of it. So I haven't had a, a water bird, so I decided I needed one since uh, the Derby Club likes to have foot flies. Maybe WRCC will get back in on a foot fly again. Anyway, I was uh, putting this pearl paint on the center of the wing to cover up the, the epoxy joint on the old wing. And uh, I had it sitting in my garage and went and opened the door. And it was a windy day and because the wind blew it and it was about for me to hit my head. I had to grab it to keep it from falling <laughs> off. So I got a thumbprint up here on the, <laughs> on the paint. I got to go back and renew the pearl paint. <laughs> so anyway, I got to redo my paint job on the down. Yeah, go ahead. Everybody and uh, when you come, he generally has pizza and stuff like that. And, uh, and uh, you probably spend a good 10 bucks in the plate or something. Or 100 or 200. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have to see the lights are flying there, go right. <laughs> back to the jet. This jet is called the Assassin. Now, why they call it that, I don't know. I got a, my receiver is one of the new 10 channel JR synthesized receivers so I can swap uh, frequencies if I get someplace and I don't like the frequency, dial a new number in here, punch the button on the, the uh, receiver. It's uh, got a, a what is it, Jet Kennedy? It's a kerosene start. Most of them start on propane, but this is a kerosene start. So I don't have to worry with propane. 